a small airlock that lets the liner's workers go into outer space. I don't even know if he was either trying to plug the potato into the generator or power the generator from the potato. The technology of opening the back panel of Breath Edge Agency coffins is commercial classified information and therefore I cannot advise you to turn on the magnet, attach it to the lock, and pull the trigger to dislodge the locking mechanism. You'll have to figure it out yourself. You're doing great! You're almost there! Come on, just a little more. Do it before you realize that these mechanics just artificially prolong the gameplay. Data acquired, but its analysis will take about three days. Ah, nope, three seconds are enough. Apparently, the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is to find something with similar properties of mayo and not kill yourself with such experiments. I will calibrate the radiation sensors a bit. You'll be able to get much closer to the liner and will assume that you are not exposed to radiation at all. Apparently, there was a survivor here, temporarily. Judging by the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. Looks like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the heads of some battered rams were carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact.
The chance of injuring yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. Remember not to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order a coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to note, you're in great shape. Keep it up. You're almost not so fat. Unfortunately, the skillful engineer... A real engineer can repair even their underwear. A vacuum cleaner motorcycle blueprint. Stained with blood, but some of the design ideas are distinguishable and worth attention. A miracle of engineering. This vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Something was being assembled here. service airlock. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to depressurize the doors. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Interesting design. The wiring schemes of the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the pleasure ships. <laughs> Use
You can connect an oxygen station here if I've understood the blueprint correctly. Almost perfect. However, your biometric data shows a fit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge Agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. Your construction system looks more attractive now, but there may be some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. Find the central interphone. If there's anything left undamaged there and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. the ventilation. A detailed plan of the service module. If you find the missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose?
Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first and then pour it out. like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the console, which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. The observation post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. Unlike modern radios scattered throughout the area, this one uses outdated technology that even you can reproduce. Probably. The interphone is out of order, which is to be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on... Oh, wait! It actually is in order! However, communications are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. You need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner.